Only one third of companies have insights into their own carbon footprint. Only one quarter of companies are reporting on it. And only one tenth are actually improving year over year their CO2 reduction. There's a lot of ideas. There's also a lot happening. But we need to do even more and we need to do it faster. And IT will be able to help. And I think SAP's role will be to creating the transparency, because that is needed. Like in some countries, like Germany, you now have a nutrition score when you go shopping. You need a CO2 score as well. But for that, transparency is key. And SAP will be one of the key players creating that. We worked with Coldplay, the band, to making their concerts and their tour um, more and more sustainable. Also, actually from June onwards, so very soon after WEF, we will have Concur showing not only how expensive it is to get from A to B and how long it takes, but also what the CO2 emissions will be. A part of creating transparency, customer choice, and then you can really make a conscious decision. Companies need to collaborate across industries towards the net zero game. And Really, it is interesting to see the convergence as well. You have energy producers, you have energy consumers, you have a smart grid in between, and there will be a complete new industry, carbon capture. So in forums like WEF, but also in many other forums, we need all companies to come together to A, create visibility. Only one third of companies have visibility about their CO2 emissions. And then actually it's the business network because most of the emissions, 90-ish percent for many companies, are created outside of your own company in the supply chain. So we really need to bring together companies in order to create transparency and then act on getting to net zero. Even governments now see sustainability as a differentiator. And companies agree that in the past they would have gone where, for example, cheaper labor would be. And now companies decide and go where greener energy is. That was a nice surprise.